and happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back. It's the last day of the week. It's also the last day you have the first 10 minutes here to finish with those MLB charts, get those 15 questions to me. We would like to get our attention focused today on the final project. We'll be taking all of next week in small groups to work on what's called the marketing project. Major League Baseball teams make money in a lot of different ways. We've talked about many of them. You know, many of you mentioned merchandise and sales and uh, food and any event at all. I mean, the number one job of Major League Baseball teams you'd think would be to win baseball games. But really, it's to make money. What better way to do anything than to get money in the owner's pockets? Well, in order to get that money in the pockets, they need to have a connection between the fans, the team, and the community. On average, according to a, a study that was done by a, a TV channel in Kansas City, the average fan, if you go to Milwaukee Brewer game, spends $44 a game, and that's without parking. Just to come in the ballpark, get their ticket, get their food, a couple hot dogs, a couple sodas. By the time you're all done spending money, $44. The Yankees, $84 a fan, every game they go to. Now you start multiplying that out, 44 times the 3 million fans the Brewers brought in last year, that's quite a bit of money just on people coming in. And that's without sales of clothing and jerseys and bats and gloves and autograph signings. So your job, if you go to the website, is to start out clicking on the marketing project. One of the all-time greatest promotional ideas ever done is Hank the Dog. If you recall, Hank just showed up at, at uh, Arizona last year, the Brewers training site, and he was ended up being adopted by one of the members of the front office. Their, their families has Hank. The Milwaukee Brewers, as a team, spent absolutely nothing on Hank the dog. I'll have some food and some treats, and the owner then took the dog. But as you know, and you, you watched the video in class, he has become everything. Hank, canine, jersey, shirts, bobblehead weekend coming up, all the good stuff. What happened is, except for Sophie, we love our dogs. And there's a connection there between people, the dogs, and the ballpark. So that Hank alone brought in money. Well, to take a look, and there's a link here, Food to the Park. It's kind of fun to see what it costs, but let's do the situation first. You're going to be put into a team, and your job is to come up with some kind of promotion to connect the team to the community and separate the community's money from their back pockets. We want to find a way to get money in our hands. Uh, so your job is to come up with some kind of promotion to bring people out to the ballpark, to get them to want to be there, because we know that for every extra person you get, you bring extra money to us. An extra $44 if we're at Miller Park, an extra 84 if you're at New York. Uh, read to the task, which we'll be doing in class today. We'll figure out groups on Monday. And over the weekend, come up with ideas that you would like to do or to work on for your promotion. One thing I would strongly recommend you do today, if you have time, is go ahead and research the Internet. Go ahead and do a Google search. See if you can find out some different kind of promotions to get people out. Some, some places have gone to, actually, dog days in the San Diego Padres. They have a whole section on certain Sundays where fans bring their dogs to the park. There's some. They have these the Dollar Dog Days at Miller Park. Of course, we have Bobblehead Days. Um, special uh, Bobblehead Days are on Sundays this year. Lots of different ways to get people out. Your job then is to find a way to get people out. Monday, I want to see some of your ideas. We'll hand out the rubrics. We'll hand out the checkoff sheets, and we'll be ready to go. So use your time wisely today, kiddos, and we'll talk to you soon.